I really need a drill press. Okay guys, here it is. This is the version 2.1 of the Z Gantry. And quick shout out to Logan. I believe he was the one that designed this iteration. So a uh, big thanks to Logan for designing this uh, iteration and also putting up with my questions on Discord. So quick shout out to Logan on Discord. Big thank you. So I want to just talk about a couple things, uh, putting this thing together. The uh, the videos that I'll be making are not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to do this. Um, like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, this is just kind of going to be a uh, documentation of what I'm doing. If you see my videos and learn something from them, great. That's awesome. But I want you guys to go to the wiki instead of and the assembly guide instead of my videos to learn how to put something together because... Though those are way better documentation uh, resources than what my videos are going to be. So um, just kind of a quick disclaimer on that one. So this is it. Uh, there were a couple things that I wasn't able to film or I just kind of got lazy. The uh, the coupling up top here, uh, pretty straightforward to put on. Um, let's see, the, also the bearing on the bottom here. I'll get another shot of that here in a second. This is uh, just to keep the gantry from falling off if something were to ever happen and it were to slide down. Otherwise your spindle would go crashing into the table. That's what this is here to prevent. Um, let's see here. The tramming block on the back here, this little piece of angle aluminum is to tram the axes. You can kind of see the uh, screws in there. So I uh, didn't get really some any footage of that. And then um, these uh, the tramming bolts here, which are totally straight up and down perpendicular. So just to give you a closer look at the uh, the bearing here, um, this is the the block that came with the uh, ball screw, and this is what HF or I'm sorry a BF10 here. Um, with these with the 2.1 version of this Z axis, you're not going to use this block. Instead, you're just going to use. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw that so hard. <laughs> Instead, you're going to use uh, just the bearing here, and this is just your typical skateboard bearing, 608 Z whatever, and then. Um, the the ball screw kit here will come with a snap ring that will go on the end here. So you'll just throw that bearing on and then the uh, snap ring as well. I hope that's focusing okay. So the ball screw spins really smooth. Um, I can feel some resistance. However, I don't have the bearings greased yet. So these will need greased. Uh, just another example to make sure you follow the wiki and the assembly guide instead of my videos here. Uh, I'm going to be filming what I do every step of the way, but that is definitely going to be a better resource of like a step-by-step -step how to put this uh, machine together. So that's going to do it for this video. I want to kind of keep these uh, videos kind of separate, maybe do talk about like one or two things at a time. So this will be mainly focused on the Z axis. However, I do have my linear rails mounted onto my Y axis here. So, I'll probably focus on the uh, X and Y axis for next video. I'm starting to get more parts to show up. So no, still no ele electronics yet, but we are gonna kind of take this one step at a time and feel free to subscribe if you like. We're gonna be posting as many videos as we can about the print NC here. So that's gonna be it guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.